Hello everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I'm playing Devil May Cry Definitive Edition, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the control scheme more to the classic games. Now, you won't be able to get it exactly, because the gameplay mechanics are obviously different, but you'll be able to get pretty close. Now, the game's default controls are actually close already. As you can see, it's jump, A, X, shoot, melee, all that, angel mode, demon mode. But the part that really gets you is right here, where it says Evade 1 is on left bumper, and Evade 2 doesn't exist because Lock-On has taken that spot. But here's the thing. When you have lock on on RB and evade is on LB, well before you would hold down left trigger to use angel mode and then use right bumper in order to evade because that was a way to do it comfortably as you'll see over here in the, where is it at? In the no lock on. See how it has two evade buttons? But now if you were to use the angel evade you would have to hold down left trigger with your middle finger and then left bumper with your pointer finger. Which for me is very uncomfortable because I personally, I use the triggers and the bumpers with my pointer fingers, so I just move them back and forth. However, if you hold your controllers with your middle fingers on your triggers and then your pointer fingers on your bumpers, then this is probably fine for you. Not for me, though, <laughs> because it was pretty pretty weird. It was very uncomfortable. I had to change it on, I think, the third mission because I just couldn't play any further. I was like, okay, I have to figure something out because this is just crazy. So here you'll see my custom controls. Basically, right here, you have lock on, RB, cycle target is on L, which I never really use anyway. And then devil trigger is center camera and cycle target, which is clicking the left and right stick. And then you have gun special on A and X. The thing is, if you change gun special to any other key, pressing A and X still will use gun special. So you can have gun special on the D-pad, which is what I do, and then you can still press A and X. So it really just gives you two options, which is, I think, better in the long run. Especially since one of these D-pad options is never used. D-pad down has no function. So what I do, well, I'll just get into it when I go over here. But anyway, you'll see custom, and the setup that I have is everything's the same until you get down to evade, which I have on the left stick, which will sound a little bit weird at first, and it took some getting used to for me, because I played the original reboot when it came out probably seven times on different difficulties. So I had pretty much the controls burned into my mind that left bumper and right bumper were evade. So this did take at least one playthrough before it became comfortable again, but if you're used to other action games, a lot of times clicking the left stick will make you evade. So it's not really that weird, it's just weird playing this specific game and having that evade. But it's very comfortable now that I'm using it. But anyway, and then lock on is still on the same button, and cycle target is on the right stick because this is now on the left stick, and then devil trigger I have on left bumper, which is the way it was in previous games. So basically, the way you evaded in the older DMCs is that you would lock on, and then you'd press A in left or right or back or whatever, and you would evade an attack. Well, you don't exactly have that option in this game, because in the old games, you would hold down the lock on button, and if you press forward, you'd use stinger. That carries over. You can still do that in this game, but if you press lock on and then back and Y, you won't bring them up in the air. You still have to press B in order to do that. So they brought over some things, but they didn't bring over all of it. So in order to counteract that, I put evade onto the left stick. So what that does is you go to move in that direction and then just click down. Which I think is a lot quicker, because otherwise you'd have to press your finger on the left bumper and then move the stick wherever you want to go. This way you just move the stick wherever you want to go and click it. There is a spider walking across my floor right now. It's very distracting. But anyway, so I'll show some gameplay right now. It's a daddy long legs though, so it's not really going to bite me. It's going towards all my cords and cables. I don't know why there's a spider in here. <laughs> But anyway, so as you'll see up there, it says filter all. Let's see. Change that. Eh, I'll probably just keep it on filter all. But yeah, as you'll be able to see, it changes whenever you hold stuff down. So I'm going to hold down the lock on. And when you go to evade, you see how it says clicking the left stick. Now the angel evade, this is the biggest bump. Because otherwise, you can use demon evade just fine if you have the old setup. But angel evade, you can now just do easily by clicking in the direction. Also, there is something new. You can click it three times. It's called the Trickster Angel Evade. It is new to the game, and I did not know it at first. I was very confused. I was like, there's no way I forgot this. And as you can see, I'm using the DMC1 Dante skin again, which is easily the best so far. Sword kind of floats, though, which is weird. But yeah, I swear there's a DMC2 costume in this game, so I won't release a costume video until I unlock that, because I'm going to show off classic Virgil, classic Dante... And I swear there's a DMC2 one. I will find it. I know Capcom said it was in there, so it has to be. But yeah, as you can see, lock-on is normal. You'll be able to see it. Uh, I guess you won't be, because it still says press it, double-tap forward. Because you can double-tap it like that, or you can hold down lock-on and press it forward. 
But yeah, basically the main thing is just using the stick, which is actually really comfortable when you're going to dodge. And he's not fighting back, so you can't really see the demon evade and all that, but it is very useful. And having the D-pad set to, or I have it set on up on the D-pad to use gun special, because going all the way to the down button is kind of uncomfortable. So instead I just put it up on the D-pad, and then I change cycle guns to down on the D-pad. Which is actually, when you're doing combos, I think it's a lot easier to press up on the D-pad than it would be to just press A and X. However, on Virgil, you do not have that liberty, because all of the D-pad buttons are filled up. I think uh, left is angel mode, up is human mode, and then right is devil mode for your, um, for your doppelganger. And then when you press down, it sets the delay and all that. So there's really no option there. All of his controls are kind of used up at the moment. But you can still use this method on Virgil, and that's actually what I'm about to go show now. Try wailing this guy a little bit. Hey, yeah. Oh, missed that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and show Virgil. Look at this costume, by the way. This costume is fantastic. Look at that. That is the classic Virgil skin right there. It is very sweet. I have not taken it off ever since I got this game. I was like, hmm, do I play as the new Virgil or this one? Absolutely this one. This looks way cooler. But anyway, I'll go show the uh, options here, the controls. Now, you'll see I have it customized in almost the same way. The evade I still have on the uh, left stick, but in order to use the demon evade, in the old one you would just, well it wasn't even demon evade, it was just you press uh, LB to go up and RB to go down. In this one you have to do demon mode and then evade, because lock on is already taken. And then as you see down here, you can't really do anything for the gun special, although you can put it on cycle target, like clicking on the sticks, but that would feel strange to me. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, everything else is the same, devil trigger on left bumper, lock on on right bumper. Now, as you'll be able to see with him playing, it is a lot more valuable to have it on the left stick here because he can teleport just back and forth. Yeah. And then if you press it without moving, he goes up in the air. And then Demon Evade, he teleports down, which is Trick Down. So yeah, Virgil plays almost identical to the Virgil in the past games, although he has new moves like Demon Modes and stuff like this, knocking people in the air. And he has something really cool, which is the Summoning Swords in this one. They are very different than the old games. As you'll see, I'll fire one into him. He already had one there but I will walk all the way away and be like, oh yeah, I'm all the way over here. If you hold down the devil button and then you press X, it'll warp enemies to you instantly. Now you can either do that by pressing it like this. Oh, no, he has a sword in him. You can either do it by pressing it like this and it fires a sword and brings them over, or you can preemptively shoot a sword into them and do it instantly, which is a lot quicker. So during fights, you should just like shoot one in them and then continue the fight and then at some moment just bring one back. And it's also really good if you were to shoot someone like that and then you go jump off a cliff or something and just immediately warp back to them. So yeah, he is very quick and very powerful too. He also has a doppelganger. As you see when you beat the game, he used him to fight Dante. So yeah, he is very cool as well. But yeah, essentially the classic controls can be used with both of them. So hopefully it was helpful because <laughs> it was very uncomfortable for me. I could play no lock-on and it was pretty comfortable, but adding lock-on to this game was almost necessary. Because I didn't really think about it before when I played through the first time. But now that lock-on is a feature, I'm like, wow, okay, <laughs> this is very valuable. So yeah, it's definitely useful. I would recommend not turning it off because it is very, very good. And you use it very often. Mostly what I use it for is just using Stinger. Like locking onto someone and then using Stinger up to them. But you can also use it to check their health, which is very good against the rage enemies. Because before, you would kind of have to guess, well, how much health does this have left? Now you can just lock on to them and be like, okay, so I'm going to beat on the other one for a while. And then once that one's down, then you can focus them both at the same time. So lock on really, really has improved the gameplay. All right, so anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And I should be back doing at least Virgil's Bloody Palace and a video showing off all the costumes. The costumes is probably going to be the last one because I've beaten the game on Nephilim and I've beaten the game on Son of Sparta. And I don't have the DMC2 costume yet. So it's either for beating it on, uh, what is it, Dante Must Die or Heaven or Hell mode. If it's not on there, I might start losing faith that it actually exists. But I know Greg from uh, Capcom, Unity, said it was in there. So it has to be in there somehow. I don't know how to unlock it, though. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.